Coverdale Bible, the second book of Moses, called Exodus. What this book containeth, chapter 13. God commandeth to sanctify all the firstborn unto him, and carrieth them toward the land of promise, not the next way, but through the wilderness, by a cloud in the daytime, and a pillar of fire in the night. The thirteenth chapter. And the Lord spake unto Moses, and said, Sanctify unto me every firstborn that breaketh all manner of matrices among the children of Israel, both of men and cattle, for they are mine. Then said Moses unto the people, Think upon this day in the which ye are gone out of Egypt from the house of bondage, how that the Lord brought you out from thence with a mighty hand. Therefore shall ye eat no sour dough. This day are ye gone out, even in the month of Abib. Now when the Lord hath brought thee into the land of the Canaanites, Etites, Amorites, Evites, and Jebusites, which he sware unto thy fathers to give thee, even a land that floweth with milk and honey, then shalt thou keep this service in this month. Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread, and upon the seventh day is the Lord's feast. Therefore shalt thou eat unleavened bread seven days, that there be no sour dough, nor soured bread seen in all thy quarters. And thou shalt tell thy son at the same time, and say, Because of that which the Lord did for me when I departed out of Egypt, therefore shall it be a sign unto thee in thine hand, and a token of remembrance before thine eyes, that the law of the Lord may be in thy mouth, how that the Lord brought thee out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Therefore keep this manner yearly in his time. When the Lord now hath brought thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he hath sworn unto thee and thy fathers, and hath given it thee, then shalt thou sunder out unto the Lord all that breaketh the matris, and firstborn among thy cattle, such as is male. The firstborn of the ass shalt thou buy out with a sheep. But, but if thou redeem it not, then break his neck. All the firstborn of men among thy children shalt thou redeem. And when thy child asketh thee to day or to morrow, What is this? Thou shalt say unto him, The Lord brought us out of Egypt from the house of bondage with a mighty hand. For when Pharaoh was loath to let us go, the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of men unto the firstborn of the cattle. Therefore offer I unto the Lord all that breaketh the matris, being a male, and the firstborn of my children I redeem. And this shall be a sign unto thee in thine hand, and a token to think upon before thine eyes, how that the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Now when Pharaoh had let the people go, God led them not the way through the land of the Philistines, which was the next. For he thought, The people might repent when they see war, and so turn in again into Egypt. Therefore led he the people about, even the way through the wilderness, 
by the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went harnessed out of the land of Egypt, and Moses took Joseph's bones with him, for he took an oath of the children of Israel, and said, God will surely visit you, therefore carry away my bones with you from hence. So they took their journey from Sukkot, and pitched their tents in Eton, in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, to lead them the right way, and by night in a pillar of fire, that he might show them light to walk both by day and night. The pillar of the cloud departed never from the people by day, and the pillar of fire departed not from them by night.